Hello, race fans, sim fans, RC fans, Racing 393. Um, today, slightly different again. I say that's slightly different, exactly the same. However, um, I've made a little bit of an improvement to the um, lighting, I hope, and the sound. I've done a few trial runs on it the other day, and hopefully. It, it seemed to me like an improvement, so I'm hoping um, that you find that as well, because the sound and the lighting is probably one of the two, if not the two, most important aspects of content creation. Anywho, right, so sim racing again, and we're back on um, Assetto Corsa. Um, I don't know if you've heard of a company called United Racing Design. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. But basically they're like a 3D modelling company, services. Um, co design, concept design it says on here and you know, digital um, presentation. But most of their dedication and most of their kind of skills, according to here, is um, video game simulations. And they've literally, uh, I want to move the mouse about kicking the crap out of this camera, which is my phone. They've just released, I don't know how you pronounce it, but they haven't got a license. There's no licensing, so they're just cars that look like cars, if you like. I, I don't know how you pronounce that. D-A-R-C-H-E. Darche, a Darche EGT, so Endurance GT, I could be wrong there as well, 2021, 2020, 2021, comes in various different liveries, looks like a Porsche basically, um, they recently did an, uh, a, a Michigan EGT, that kind of looks like a Corvette C7, it isn't either, but it kind of looks like that. So there's no licensing, as I said. So we paid back four euros for this. Uh, I'm going to take it around a track. I'm going to take it around Donington. Just a nice short English U uh, UK um, circuit. And it'll be the, um, I think it's the club, whatever they call the club circuit. So it's quite short. Uh, we're going to see how it goes. So, um, yeah. Again, our descriptions, links will be in the description. And this one's specifically for um, Assetto Corsa. So bear with and we'll get it out the track. So here we are uh, in Assetto Corsa. Uh, this is the car that I've just purchased. It comes in various different um, guises. Uh, I thought I'd try this. It's the uh, 220, 2021 sprint version um, only because I'm going around a short track um, looking at this is just like a few colors and numbers there don't suppose it really matters that looks like a, uh, a Bentley color I suppose but we'll go with the um, we'll go with that one there just white it stands out a bit better and we're going to go around it's the national circuit i said club didn't i but i meant um national uh we've got that set up so everything's on got so many things to turn on now just the you know we've got the dash button box butt kicker wheel i got cut off yeah i keep getting cut off uh but i can see my camera not working so um, anyway and here we are in the pits at Donington basically a GT car um, I'm kind of hoping I take it that doesn't quite look in the middle does it no, that way the other way the first time I see it on my head in the camera 
the track IR looks ridiculous, like a couple of prongs sticking up, but um, it works tremendously well. So let's get in the car. I'll just reset my view a minute. There we go. So it looks okay to me. Got my wind sim on as well. I'm going to do a review on that soon. I'm just sort of giving it a, a good use. Right. I think we're ready to go. So, come on. Butt kicker. Wind's on. It's good. All clear on pit exit. You can push now. So, I think, I think my DOR isn't quite set right at the moment. It was on 900. Let's try again. Last bright day at Donington Park. Oops. Sounds really good. A bit loud, if anything. Understeers as well, quite a lot. Nice bright morning at Donington Park. I could hardly hear myself. Your lap time was 107.82. understeer straight away just trying to drive it within sector one time is good you know the car and myself nope says right let's start again going to cockpits coal tires all around
has a lot of push on the corners, especially here. Wrong gear. Good force feedback on the corners. Mainly right hand bends. So the left side's getting quite hot quite soon. A 107. Sector 2 is a tenth off your best. It does feel like you can't attack the corners. Understeer. And there. Yeah, difficult to attack the corners. Especially here. Sector 2 is 0.38 off your best. see the front push wide straight away you've just done a 107 see. needs more grip a car of this status nah. it's very easy to overdrive got cold tires we need to get some heat into them sector two is two tenths off your best Push a bit harder. Tires are staying cold. You're currently 0.9 off your best. Sector three times okay. No, not a lot of grip. So. We're going to try for a faster lap. Sixty-two times quick. We're eight tenths up at the moment, but another lap. That lap time was 106.22. That's your best lap in this session. Sixty-three times fast. Try one more. One more. The lap time was at 106.54. You're now 0.31. Slower than your best. Sectors 1 and 3 are fast. Sector 2 is 0.7 off your best. tents up so um, yeah I couldn't really hear myself there I think I've got my own volume turned up a bit too much so we'll flip over to uh, a replay. I better hear myself then. So we're just coming through the um, final chicane. 
And I was, what I was trying to do, I'm going to hold my mic close to my mouth so you can hear me. Um, so we're going down the Wheatcroft Strait. The, the problem with the car is it, you, it loads up in the corners. It loses grip very, very quickly. Um, it, you kind of you, you want to feel that a car like this should feel like I wouldn't say stuck to the tarmac because it isn't, but you should feel a little bit more front end. It's got very, very little. Um, going through Redgate, it's it, it wants to push on, so you have to sort of drive well within the grip of the tyres. I just wish that you could feel that kind of point where the tyres give way. It doesn't do that. So I found, although the lap time was 106.130, I personally feel that will go a lot quicker. I mean, the, it's got... Um, no rear spoiler diffuser it's a porsche i know it isn't a porsche but it looks like a porsche it should definitely be more grippy i mean it's pushes wide there going down through the crane of curves and coming down to the old hairpin it's so difficult to get lined up you've got to use all the track it looks good so you can see there we took a nice line around the sort of the old hairpin and using the curbs but I find that you're driving well within yourself. Um, you just can't push the car any harder than what I was. The tyres heated up. The, the sort of what seemed like the the left-hand tyres. It's mainly right-hand bends. That's quite a nice line through there. But the right-hand tyres don't seem to want to heat up at all. And the heat I locked up there as well. That was that looked good. And that's why I went so wide through McLean's. Um, but yeah, I, I personally think the tyres on this model, you know, definitely need a little bit more work. Uh, this this corner coming up here, uh, the name will come up in a second. It's a, a right-hander, blind, coppice. That was right. So this is coppice. One of the most difficult corners to get right. It sort of determines your speed down the straight to the sort of the end which is you know we're on the um, uh, the short circuit version um, but it determines how much speed you carry down this straight uh, Starkey straight used to have a bridge down there used to be Starkey's bridge funny enough uh, but they've I suppose you can get a mod with that in and what I find here is the braking side of it uh, you got to break so early, and it locks up very easily, which I think I did, coming through to the uh, the final chicane. Uh, it's a nice, it did nice turn in there. That was Roberts as you turn in, but it went wide. It hit the curb just there, coming out, unsettled the car, and off to the full straight again. So, uh, yeah, it looks good, sounds good. It's it's quite loud. I mean, it's pretty my. Um, to be honest with you, it's my headphones. Um, but I think the braking, the tyre grip, definitely, definitely needs work. Uh, it's worth giving it a go. Four euros. They do do updates. So if you have paid for it and you're onto their mailing list, they'll send you uh, emails periodically when they update their models. Uh, they're, they're very. Um, I like United Racing design. I like the way they work. They've done lots of good cars. They're just. I feel the last few, this being one of them, do need a little bit more work with the grip side. I could be wrong. Maybe the Porsche, uh, this one, or what this sort of kind of debates drives like that. But I'd be very surprised if I'm honest. But anyway, that's enough of that. I hope you enjoyed it. Slightly different. I'm hoping that everything turned out okay. Uh, sound, uh, picture. And I hope to see you very soon on the next one. Thank you for watching and bye for now.